What up, what up, what up, guys? And Kenny here. I'm back in the video today. As you guys can see, we're just going to be playing some Ice Bow 3.6. And right now, we're about three top 300. And I think in this video, we're just going to be trying to push to top 200. We're currently top 18 in the in the U.S. So I think that's pretty good. And let's get started. Okay, we're up against Bow Cup. So this guy has Hog XE NATO as his clan, so I'm guessing that's what he's playing. Um, so just, yeah, so he showed us Ice Spirit, so let's just go Ice Wizard here. Um, let's get our Tesla ready. And let's see what he's gonna defend this Ice Wizard with. And yeah, he definitely has Hog XE NATO. No other deck in the game really runs um, Ice Spirit and Goblins. I don't really know any deck that runs goblins, period, other than Hog XE NATO. So yeah, he NATO's, so I'm just gonna go Valkyrie in the back. We should be up three elixirs, so that's that's pretty good for us. If he doesn't do anything, I'm probably just gonna go okay. So really nice Valkyrie by him. He's gonna stop me from going expo. And after this Valkyrie dies, I'm just gonna go expo because he doesn't really have a tank. To soak up all the expo damage so even if he goes rocket here i think we should be able to get damage and yeah he had an overspend so i think that's fine let's go tesla in the middle let's wait and see what he's gonna do first but if he doesn't do anything i'm just gonna pre-place a tesla like one tower up well two tiles up for his hog okay really nice hog so this hog is going to fully deny my Tesla, but I think it's fine. Let's log for chip damage. If he goes Ice Spear, I'm just going to defend it with Ice Wizard because our Ice Wizard is still going to be alive to apply pressure after we de defend the Ice Spirit. Let's go Valkyrie at the bridge. And I have to try to kill this on Valkyrie here. So he did overspend with that NATO, so let's go in. Let's see what he's going to do. And he didn't defend with the rocket. So interesting play by our opponent. I feel like that hog was risky. Especially since it had a chance of jumping. Really bad NATO by our opponent. Um, Yeah, I probably should have went rocket. Especially since if he does manage to defend this. I might not be in a good spot. So let's see what happens here. Uh, okay, let's go Ice Wither to catch his XE. And yeah, our, our Ice Wither just got shredded there. I'm gonna have to rocket this, hope he goes hog. Oh, dang, he was like one or two tiles away from our rocket. I can't let him get like any kind of goblin stabs because this matchup really, really gets close, guys. Especially since we both has, have Rocket Cycle. So I'm just going to go in with an Expo. Here and then Tesla to predict his um, XC. Let's go Valkyrie. No way. Is he going to kill our Expo as well? Okay guys. I think we might have just lost here because. He did manage to kill our Expo. I'm just going to go Rocket. And yeah, he has a faster cycle than us, so this is going to be really, really tough. Um, going to go Log. And I can't really go Expo just yet because he has a Valkyrie on the board. I got to try to kill his Valkyrie before I try going Expo. So let's go Valkyrie here for his Valkyrie. Ice Wizard in response to his Hog. And yeah, I have to go in since he did um, use that Rocket. So let's go rocket of our own because I don't think we would have broken through if we did go expo there um, I'm gonna NATO this to the other side man this is so annoying let's go expo gotta wait for um, Daxi to retarget let's predict his goblins he's really 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 smart for not playing that in the middle and we do get a connection not enough and GG. Okay, we're up against Sonar. So this guy, I know he plays um, Lava Hound. Lava Hound Fireball. 
So let's go expo right away and get our skeletons ready in case he has Infernal Dragon. And I don't want to play my Tesla right away because I want my Tesla as, uh, as alive as possible. Because if he's just able to fireball and it fireball it and it just dies, like I'm just getting like no value out of that Tesla, so it's just better that I waited there. Um Okay, so pretty good defense so far. This guy doesn't run minor, I don't think, but I'm pretty sure he has fireball. So even if your opponent even if you don't think your opponent is running Fireball with Lava Hound, you always want to place your um your Ice Wizard like right here in the corner instead of behind the King because if you do place it behind the King, you're going to be forced to play like a really weird Tesla and you're not able to separate your Ice Wizard and Tesla and he can just Fireball both and you lose. So right there was a perfect example. He wasn't able to hit both. I think he... Did have like a chance there. I'm not 100% sure, but it worked out in that situation. I'm not sure if it's foolproof yet, but yeah. Um, he's gonna have to loon this, so let's get a rocket ready. Yeah, we couldn't get a rocket in time. I'm just gonna have to ice wizard slow. Unfortunate that we didn't really have our NATO there, but I don't think I would have played a NATO. Especially since that would cost me like three elixir and he can just go lava hound the back like right now. I think Okay, so we're about even I Cycled Valkyrie opposite lane just to apply some pressure. So he's just not able to spam me all in one lane Um, I'm just gonna have to get a good rocket here It's gonna help me cycle and clear off like his support while killing the Lava Hound. Um, let's actually activate King. It's gonna really help out our defense. I don't think he can get back to Fireball. Let's go Expo up here. Because our cycle is kind of weird. I think he can cycle back to another Lava Hound, so I might be in trouble here. Let's go Valkyrie off to lane again. Probably should have cycled it at the bridge now that I think about it. So let's actually cycle our Tesla first. Because that's our main line of defense. I'm going to rock his Lava Hound. And it, oh, we missed the Lava Hound. So this. We might lose the game here, guys. As long as we can defend this, we might be fine, but I'm not sure. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Okay, that was that was a bit scary because usually if you miss that you lose especially if they have skeleton dragons I'm gonna go all in right here because I'm sure I don't think I can defend his next big push since we're down so much elixir I'm gonna have to NATO his um, balloon back and I think our Valkyrie should finish this and nice okay so see you guys in the next game Okay, we're up against Andrux. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Um, I think I'm just gonna have to go Tesla. If I go Ice Wizard, the Ice Wizard would just die to the bowler. And he could have like giant graveyards, so... If he had like Night Witch, he could play opposite lane and then go giant in front. And I wouldn't have Ice Wizard to take care of that Night Witch, so I probably would have lost right off the bat. Let's go Valkyrie. Really, <laughs> really nice freeze, dude. And he played a NATO at the same time, so that this is automatically free expo, guys. Whenever they overspend like that, just hit them with an expo, and you basically win the game right off the bat. Especially if you um, have like a really nice setup and you're really, really passive early on. So I think we might even be able to take a tower here. And yeah, it seems like it. So yeah, GG. We're top 200, right on the dot. Okay, we're up against Muzan. 
I don't know if you guys like Demon Slayer, but um, Demon Slayer is just... I didn't like it at first. Like, the season one, it was alright. I mean, I did... I'm gonna be honest, I liked it a little bit. And then it just kind of got overhyped a bit. But my mind completely changed during season two, especially seeing all that good animation. So right here, I'm just gonna have to log in and NATO his uh, magic archer to my Tesla. I don't think we'll be able to protect. Okay. So yeah, we didn't fully protect our um, Tesla, but it's fine. So right here, I'm not gonna overcommit. I gotta wait to see what he's gonna do first. Especially since my elixir bar isn't full. So there's no need for me to cycle anything. Let's go Ice Wizard up high. And since his... Did you guys see that lag? Because I, I lagged a bit there. That looked pretty weird, but I think I'm just going to ignore that. Um, Hopefully it doesn't cost us the game again. <laughs> like one of my other videos, but I think we should be fine. Um, let's go log and then late Valkyrie. And I think I'm just gonna NATO his e -Wiz because he could just like play P.E.K.K.A in front. And I don't want to be caught in a weird cycle. And we basically kill that e -Wiz for 3 elixir. Let's go Ice Wizard ability here. Really really bad zap and we could turn the game around right here and win depending if he's able to defend this or not so i'm gonna go test up high here since his bandit's out of cycle so he can't snipe it let's go expo here really really nice prediction by our opponent that's like a really rare thing for like a pekka player to predict you like that i would say only a few pekka players in the game right now could probably pull that off Let's rocket his P.E.K.K.A since our Tesla's still up. I don't think our Tesla would get much value anyways, but I'm, I'm pretty confident we can defend this. He did spend quite a bit of elixir. With that prediction. Let's go Ice Wizards right here since his Fireball's out of cycle. And wow, we defended that a lot better than I thought. Valkyrie really clutched it up there. Um... So I'm probably going to play Defensive Expo, but I want to see what he does first. Let's go Log, and then Skeletons to kite his Ghost. I don't want to play my Tesla just yet, because... I don't know, I just want to get full, like maximum value out of my Tesla. So let's go Tesla right here in the middle. It's Ice... Okay, let's go Valkyrie, and then Ice Wizard right here. He's probably going to zap that Tesla. Yeah. Let's go Skeleton and then low Tesla. And probably have to NATO that um, P.E.K.K.A just because of the simple fact that I didn't want it to like hit my tower. Let's go NATO down. And then log, okay. I think we're down on Elixir. He's probably up like... I think he's up like four. Four or six elixir. I'm gonna have to NATO that because I I can't really defend his pack and I gotta cycle back to something. Let's go rocket and then try to kite in the middle. I think we should be able to defend here since his pack is dead and our Valkyrie's still alive. Um, let's go defensive expo. Let's log. Got an Ice Wizard, this is really, really awkward. Let's go Tesla in the middle again. I'm trying to avoid as much Firewall value as I can. As you guys can see, because if I give him like one good Fireball, then I just automatically lose. Let's go Tesla up here. Valkyrie in the corner. Okay, this is getting really close. Let's go Defensive Expo. He, he wouldn't want a magic archer that since it wouldn't do much there and I'm just gonna rock it and GG so really really close game if we didn't hit that rocket we probably would have lost and yeah GG
Okay, we're up against Ori. Um, let's give him the good luck. I think I might just cycle my Ice Wizard here. See if he's gonna do anything. Okay, so Ice Wizard. I just really hope this isn't Three Musketeers, because Three Musketeers isn't like my best matchup. And it's Three Musketeers, okay. I'm gonna get King activated here, just to kind of help out for the rest of the match. And this is the Three Musketeers Hog variant, so this matchup isn't the best for Ice Bow. Even though I do have the Valkyrie, it doesn't really matter, especially since Three Musketeers have like so much DPS now. It's literally insane. They can just shred through her. So I'm just going to go Ice Wizard. Um, not sure what to do here. I guess I'll Tesla low and then Skeletons. Pretty late for his Bandit. And nice. So, so far so good. We do have King activated. As long as we can survive to double and like not take too much damage, we should be fine. Going to have to cycle Expo here. So, I didn't want to cycle Valkyrie because if he goes, like, um, Three Musketeer at the bridge, I instantly lose. So, that wouldn't be, like, the best play for me. Gonna go Ice Wizard, same lane as his Bandit. And again, notice how I'm just, like, being really patient in how I play my cards. Let's try to nail these to one side. Yeah, really bad NATO by me, but I think we should still be fine. I'm gonna rock it, assuming he's gonna split. And nice, he split. So let's go Valkyrie here and then late log. Nice, I didn't expect to like fully defend that, but we did manage to. And this is like another reason for you guys not to use Knight. So Knight, you would probably lose the game with Knight right then and there, so. Well, not exactly lose the game, but take a lot of damage. I just think Valkyrie's like, a hundred times better, especially in this meta. Let's nato these three musketeers to one lane. So we managed to get it that time. I don't want to go rocket just because we're low on elixir and it wouldn't make sense to like spend like a rocket as well. And since we do have that Valkyrie still up and we're up elixir since we took that damage, I'm just gonna go expo here. Let's log his bandit and let's try to nato this back. Nice! Okay, so he fell for it. I don't think that's going to be enough to win the game since he can easily take care of our expo. But let's try to cycle back to another expo. And ignore that bandit completely. So this is kind of an aggressive way to play ice bow. I don't always recommend it, but if you do have like King activated and you're in a tight spot, I think it's like a good idea to play ice bow like this. But again, I don't recommend it. Let's go Valkyrie here. And try to cycle back and go Expo. Let's get our Nero ready again. In case he does like a bad... Yeah. I I'm kind of surprised that he fell for it twice in a row. That's like next level. <laughs> next level stupidity. But yeah. Let's go Skeletons up high and then log his tower. And that should be GG. Okay, this guy, he hates me because I beat him three times in a row <laughs> before I started recording. He's running 2.6, so I think this should be pretty easy for me. He's giving us the good game. I'm not sure if he's trying to tie me or he's just saying that he's going to lose. But yeah, I'm not going to... I'm just going to mute him because I don't want him to distract me from getting a free win. I'm gonna Tesla in the middle. Yeah, really bad Musketeer by him. In double elixir, I think that play would be okay, but since it's a single elixir, and he did, couldn't do it in time, it didn't really make sense. So I'm just gonna go Valkyrie and then Expo to punish him right away. So the only time you go Expo in this matchup is if 
your opponent cycles their ice golem or if they overcommit because if you go like expo for no reason that puts you at an elixir deficit and they can just like get easy damage on your tower so that goes for 3.0 as well not just ice spell and looks like he gave up so let's predict his hog here nice okay so gg i think that puts us in the top 120 or something but let's see Nice, and Kenny out.